Hey, welcome in YouTube. Today we're going to set up this basic Hello World widget using EU. So the first thing you want to do is obviously have EU installed and I'm not going to show you how to install it because it's different system to system. But if you are installing or compiling, make sure you enable or use the Wayland variant if you're using Wayland. Otherwise, the Windows will not work. So first thing I'm going to show you is some basic U commands. So to close a widget, you just do U kill, and then that will kill all of the widgets. And to open a widget, you just do U open, and then the name of your widget. And in this case, I have an example widget. And as you can see, hello world pops up. And then another useful command to know is you logs. It's going to show you everything that happens inside of the app. And this is going to be really useful when you're editing the config and you don't know what's the problem causing the app to crash. And you can go into here and then see exactly which on which line you have a bad syntax or whatever. So now that you have you installed, what you want to do is make a new folder in your .config folder. So make dir .config slash eww, and that's it. I already made mine, so I'm just going to change the directory into it. And then now I recommend you download or just git clone my eu files in the link in, des in the description below. And this is just going to make it a lot easier to get started. So you don't have to copy everything yourself. And I also have useful documentation for you to look at copied directly from their official documentation. And I don't have all of the things commented, as you can see here in struts distance side, I just have what they had. I didn't see anything about distance or side. So I don't know what those settings are. And I'm not going to worry about it because I'm on Wayland. But if you are on X11, make sure you uncomment all of these, which is as simple as removing the semicolon in the beginning of the line. And then you don't really need to worry about commenting these out, but you could if you wanted or just delete them all together. I tested with the X11 settings running and it doesn't make any difference. So for example, if I do window type doc, the app doesn't care because I'm running on Wayland. Anyway, the most important thing to know up here is you have to call it something in the def window. So in this case is example. So when you do open, this is exactly what the name is going to be. So if I want to do X instead of example to open it, I just do you open and then X. And as you can see, it pops up. And then down here right now, it's just a string, but normally it's going to be in parentheses and then the name of a widget. Since we don't have a widget yet, I'm just going to leave it as a string for now. And if you want to know how to create widgets, make sure you watch the next video I'm going to upload after this. So make sure you give a subscribe. Anyway, now let's take a look at the SCSS file which is where you're going to put all of your styles. And by default, it's going to come with some styles. So if I just save, you can see this is what it looks like by default, which I believe is using GTK styling. So whatever theme you have, it should copy. Uh, but I don't like that. I want to do my own thing. So by using all unset, you reset all the styles to nothing or just defaults, I believe, like like blank defaults. And in this case, I have a font size so you can see the hello world example better. And I can make that as big as I want. So let's try 500. Yeah, that's huge. So I'm going to undo that. And that's about it. It's pretty simple in here. So if you want to make a different um, style, let's say if you have images, you just do image and then type whatever style you need. So I am done here. If you want to know how to create widgets, make sure you guys check out my next video. But other than that, I hope to see you guys another day. Peace out.